What's up guys, today I have an unboxing and review of the Sapphire R7-260X graphics card. So let's take a look at the box itself, so at the front we see some branding and specifications, so it comes with 2GB of GDDR5 memory, 896 steam processors, a clock speed of 1050MHz and 6000MHz of effective memory. So let's open the box to see what comes inside. So we have the driver CD together with a little Sapphire sticker. We also have a little business card of Sapphire. An installation guide. A Sapphire flyer. And a 6 pin to Molex adapter in case you don't have a 6 pin connector left on your power supply. We also have a VGA to DVI adapter, really nice to have if you still have a monitor that uses a VGA cable. And finally we have of course the graphics card itself in an anti-static bag. So let's take a look at the graphics card itself. It's a nice little card, it's 7 inches long and 4.2 inches wide. It has this nice simple black and white scheme. At the top we have a fan to blow the heat away from the copper heatsink. For the connections you will get one DVI, one HDMI and one display port. To install this graphics card you will need to remove two expansion slots on your case. On the back we have the 6 pin connector and it has a nice black PCB. This card comes with some great features. It is crossfire ready, you can set up iFinity, it supports 3D and 4K resolution and of course mental and true audio. So here we have R7 series graphics card which stands for performance. It has great specs and great features and is a great value for money, especially if you are building a budget PC. Make sure to subscribe because I'm going to test a lot of games with it like Battlefield 4, Watch Dogs, Crisis 3 and some benchmarks and temperatures. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.